Here are another 10 Marvel movie details you might have missed. In Thor 1, Odin said this to Loki and Thor. Only one of you can ascend to the throne, but both of you were born to be kings. This was in 2011, and at first, people thought it only applied to Thor since he was destined to rule Asgard. But 13 years later, in Loki Season 2, Loki didn't just become the king of the Nine Realms but the king of the entire multiverse. This proves that what Odin said is actually true. They both were destined to become kings. I know what kind of god I need to be. For you. For all of us. In Infinity War, why did Hulk refuse to come out? No! I'll sue you, you big green asshole! Many people think it's because Hulk got afraid after losing to Thanos. And his name is John C. But the actual reason is that he's tired of always fighting for Banner and despite everything he's done for Earth, people still hate him. In Age of Ultron, when Tony and Banner talk. I can harness this power, apply it to my Iron Legion protocol. That's a man-sized if. Our job is if. If you look closely for a brief second, you can see the stretchy pants being made by Stark and Banner. This is why Bruce doesn't lose his pants whenever he transforms into the Hulk. Ah, naked. He's very naked. That's it's in my brain now. In Age of Ultron, when Tony fights the Hulk using the Hulk Buster, he says this. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. The reason he says this is that if we look back at his head display, you can see that Veronica activated a sedative. Come on, Bruce. You gotta work with me. Then in this scene. You can clearly see that Tony sprays this sedative on the Hulk. In the ending of Age of Ultron, when Tony, Thor, and Steve are talking, Steve actually breaks the fourth wall here. Job in the last few years. It's not a coincidence. If you look closely, you can see that Steve moves slightly to the left because the cameraman is in the way. Job in the last few years. It's not a coincidence. In the Loki series, when Mobius is showing Loki his memories, <laughs> you can see the scepter going through Agent Coulson's chest. However, if we look at the Avengers movie, you'll notice that the tip of the scepter isn't shown. This is because they needed to censor that part for the movie, but censorship rules are more relaxed for the series. You want to find out? <laughs> In Avengers Endgame, when Hawkeye is testing time travel, he brings this baseball glove back with him. Many people think he just wants to keep a memory from his past, but he deliberately shows this to Stark and Black Widow, telling them it works. Work. Work. This is because Tony asked Clint to bring something from the past to their present because this is also a test to ensure they could use this strategy to bring the Infinity Stones from the past. In Spider-Man No Way Home, when Peter is on the bridge and a helicopter is following him. Hi. Yeah, I can see you. This chopper is actually live streaming all his movements because he's big news by that time and if you look moments later. Mom. There's a girl watching something on her iPad. Well, she's actually watching the live stream that the helicopter is broadcasting. You can also see her reaction when she realizes it. In Thor Ragnarok, why was Thor affected by this collar if he's the god of thunder? Well, this is called the obedience disc. It doesn't produce shock waves like many people think. Instead, it activates all the pain receptors in a human body, so it doesn't really matter how strong you are. In Iron Man 2, if you look at this scene, Natasha, instead of immediately getting scared, assumes a fighting stance. Ever since you came here. 
Remember, at this point, Natasha has not yet been revealed as Black Widow, but the directors didn't forget to add this tiny detail to ensure proper character establishment. 